LabVIEW sucks and it isn't a real programming language. My boss made me write this LabVIEW code and it looks like spaghetti. Don't worry, I'm a LabVIEW developer. Can I see your code? Maybe I could help you. I don't need your help. LabVIEW is the problem. I cannot follow the program flow the way I'm used to. It's actually really easy. The wires show how data flows between different functions, like an electric circuit. That's why it's called a data flow language. Does that help you? I want to make a website. I can't make a website in LabVIEW. Actually you could, but depending on your application it might be hard. Of course, it would be equally difficult to control a mass spectrometer using PHP or Rails. You have to use NI hardware with LabVIEW. I don't want to use NI hardware. Then lucky for us LabVIEW can communicate with all kinds of hardware. I'm sort of surprised you don't know this already. LabVIEW doesn't support object-oriented programming. Actually it does. Free and commercial OOP libraries have been available for nearly a decade and LabVIEW has natively supported OOP for five years. LabVIEW isn't good at string manipulation. What do you mean? LabVIEW has all the same string functions C does, plus Perl compatible regular expressions and other fancy stuff. If you need more, you can build new functions yourself or create a class just like in any other language. Real programmers write text, LabVIEW programmers draw cartoons. You're a cartoon. <laughs> But seriously, maybe you're threatened by developers who can create highly parallel code to control the world around them, while you're worrying about thread safety and stale pointers. Do you have any more complaints? Did you know LabVIEW code runs on Windows, Mac and Linux as well as several real-time and embedded platforms including FPGAs? So? It still sucks. Did you know LabVIEW has been multiprocessor aware for like eight years, long before multi-core machines were common? I don't believe you. LabVIEW sucks. Or that LabVIEW provides the platform for everything from the most advanced research instruments in the world like the Large Hadron Collider, all the way down to Lego toys. I don't care. Or that if you really need to, you can call text-based code from LabVIEW? I don't care. Or that tens of thousands of people make their living solving problems in LabVIEW and thousands of companies depend on LabVIEW for activities critical to their business. I don't care. So you still think LabVIEW sucks and isn't a real programming language? Yes, LabVIEW sucks. Leave me alone, I'm busy. My Android phone is broken and I have to go get a new one. Maybe they should have tested it with LabVIEW.